everyone, welcome back to Bizazz Studios. It's Lori with you. And I'm gonna show you today how I go about testing my cell activators. So I have uh, one, two, three, four, five cell activators or six cell activators actually here in front of me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just practice like I'm doing like a bloom. And I have my white house paint here in this cup. And I have just three colors I'm gonna use because this is just a test. And I wanna show you what I do, that this might help you in the long run. If you mix up your cell activators, um, I did a video where I showed you how I create my cell activators, how I mix them up with this uh, Australian Floetrol. If you're interested in that, I can show you, or I'll put a link to that rather down in the description box for you. What I do is I save, these come, from, this is the cardboard that comes from canvases. Uh, I cut them up into smaller pieces and I use these as test pieces to test my cell activators on. This is just the insert from a picture frame. It's a little bit of a different paper. These are more like cardboard and this is more like a coated paper, but I just use the white side. It works very well. I'm gonna use a copper, a red and a green. I don't really care about the colors. I just grabbed some. Yeah, and what I'm looking for is how my cell activator is working. So I'm just gonna put down my white house paint, just like I would if I was doing a bloom. The first color I'm gonna put down here is copper. I'm not gonna put a ton, it's just a test, so I don't need a large amount. The next one is red. And then I'm gonna use a green. Okay, so that looks good. So basically I have, you know, my little puddle, my little puddle here of paint. And I'm gonna put down my cell activator here now. Um, I've got a few colors here. Like I said, I've got, well, let's try this one first. This is turquoise green. I'm gonna turn this around a little bit. And then I'm gonna put this right down on here and then I'm gonna blow it out with my mouth and see what we get for cells. Okay, so we wanna let that develop for a moment because it takes a second for cells to start coming up. And I already have some forming, which is a very good sign. Let me get you a better close up. Okay, so here we go. So this cell activator is actually perfect. It's working very well. I have some amazing lacing and some great cells. So I'm gonna move on to my next one now. But you could also use freezer paper. If you wanna use that as your test, if you wanna save the paint, it's up to you. I'm gonna try my next one. I'm putting down some more house paint here. I'm gonna use the same paints in the same order. That way I, I know these are working well. These are all mixed up. With my bloom recipe. I have videos for that as well if you're interested in seeing how I make the pouring medium. It's uh, my video number 18 and then video number 19. After you watch that one, we'll show you how to mix that pouring medium with your paints. Let's go ahead and try the white one. See what we get. with my blowing there, but I think it's working. I think I see some cells. Let me zoom in for you. Okay, that one's working perfectly as well, so I'm very happy with that one. Well, that's the white cell activator. We'll try another one. I will put this aside. It's very pretty. <laughs> all right, now these are all Amsterdam paints in my cell activators. Like I said, you can go back and watch that other one if you're interested. Another video, I'll show you how I mix them up and what colors these are, things like that. Some tips about how to mix it. I'm gonna use this one next. This is the grayish blue. I should have put a little more paint, but I can see that it's working very nicely. Okay, here we go. A little bit closer here for you, see? This is an interesting color. I've never used this bluish gray as a cell activator before. Pretty. Okay, now we'll move on to the next one. The 
this time I think I'll try the black. Oh my goodness, what happened to my phone? Oh, it was totally out of focus. That was odd. I'm so sorry. It must have moved on me. And then now I came over to uh, take a look at it to see how it was doing and it was all out of focus. I'm so sorry about that. But here we have the black and that's working fantastic. Move this one aside. So I have purple and pink left to do. So it only takes a moment, you know, to test your cell activator. I do highly recommend that because sometimes things are just off a little bit or if you're trying a new color especially and you're not sure if it's going to work out. Instead of wasting all your paints on a large painting and then being disappointed that it didn't work, at least this way you know that it's not, you know, your cell activator is working properly and you have it mixed up right and the paints are working together nicely and, and things like that. Let's see, let's do the pink, Granacridone Rose. funky too but it's working <laughs> so I blew that a little funny that's why I have that weird uh, big white blob kind of on the left side there but you can see all the cells everything's working very nicely I'm gonna put that down here to the side and then we'll do our last one it's gonna be that pretty purple last color I have is this pretty ultramarine violet. I'm gonna put this down and give this a shot, see what happens. All right, we are done. Let me get a close up for you. Okay, and there's the ultramarine violet. So this is working out nicely too. So I'm very happy. All my cell activators work nicely. Let me show you real quick. All of them worked very nicely. Zoom in here. They've been sitting. More cells have been, um, more cells have been developing. So as you can see, they all work out great. So I'm very happy with this. I actually mixed these very well. I wasn't sure about some of these. I wasn't sure about some of the colors. A couple of them I've never used before as a cell activator. I wasn't sure what the results were gonna be. So that's why I wanted to test them and I thought I'd show you. So I hope this helps you. Like I said, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead, leave them down below for me. If there's a specific video you'd like to see, leave that down below. Enjoy your wonderful day. Thanks for joining me again for yet another video. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye now.